All right, we're back here at 612 on your Tuesday. Uh, time to see what's going on in the 608. And this morning we are, you know, talking about uh, the community book drive uh, that the Madison Reading Project is uh, uh, participating in right now. And we're learning how local businesses are stepping up to support the cause. Josh Frider is live out in the community this morning with the story. How's it going? Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, we're live in downtown. We're on State Street this morning showing what businesses are stepping up for the cause. You may have noticed if you, when you've been out and about these red bins at some of the businesses, some of the malls, some of the public places across Madison as that community book drive is underway. We have just over a week left to make it happen this morning. I want to start with Emily Wills with the Madison Reading Project. Emily, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing, Josh? Oh my gosh, I'm doing wonderful. And where are we standing right now at the book drive? How are things going? We are doing so great. About a week ago, we hit our 50% mark. We're close to 75% now, so we're nearing our goal, which is really exciting. So folks have until December 6th to make this happen, and let's talk about those goals because you guys are asking a lot of the community once again, but they always come through. They do always come through, and it's super exciting. Our goal this year in celebration of our 10-year anniversary is to raise $110,000 and gather 15,000 books to distribute to kids this holiday season and prepare, of course for the coming year and more kids and more books in 2025. You know when you guys have been working over the years with local businesses they've been stepping up in big ways including Goodman's Jewelers where we're standing this morning. What has that been like? Well, Goodman's Jewelers has been amazing. John is a fantastic supporter and advocate for literacy and reading and the cause. And businesses across Dane County have really stepped up to help support, give back in sponsorships, donations, engaging their employees. It's been really inspiring and amazing to see. And once again this year, we have John Hayes of Goodman's Jewelers. Good morning to you, John. Good morning. How oh my you? gosh, I'm doing wonderful. You know, thank you so much for what you do. And let's talk a little bit about why you do this year after year to part up with the Madison Reading Project? Well, reading is a basic, fundamental part of learning, and um, that's something that we really believe in education and, and uh, being able to help with the book drive is, is uh, a natural for us to be able to, to try to give back. And obviously, I mean, you have such a backing of customers here at your State Street location. Those customers support you, but they're also helping you with the book drive as well. So that has to be uh, pretty amazing as a business owner. It is. It's great to see the people, the public come in and drop off books. And, and I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Lake City Books, who uh, said that they will give a discount to people that buy a book there when they tell them the book is for the book drive and they can actually donate it there. Um, and we say, just tell them that Goodman sent you, and they're going to do that too. So it spreads throughout the entire community, which is fantastic. Yeah, I love how local businesses have been stepping up all around the area. All right, so give us the times here. How much longer do folks have to be able to help you guys out in your mission here, Emily? This community book drive is going until December 6th. So it's right around the corner, but we still have time. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for being here this morning again. We got to fill this up even more here, folks. So we have just over a week left to make this happen. You can go to the story on channel3000.com and just click on the In the 608 tab with everything that you need to know. And coming up in our next half hour, as John mentioned, we're going to actually be heading across the other side of the Capitol Square to Lake City Books to see what they've got going on all as right. well. It's fun to see all these local businesses stepping up for a great cause for our kids, guys. We have such a generous community. I love to see them show up for an event like this. Appreciate it, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email us at in the 608 at wisctv.com for a chance to be featured.